a giant skeleton of a giant and a big snake. But if this was true, I'm sure the whole world would know about it. It's almost like a predator movie, you know? <laughs> Good morning! So we are here in Krabi town now and we are waiting for the bus that will bring us to the ferry terminal. So let's have a little check, a little look in the city. So this is the provincial court and there's a park behind here. And what we are trying to do is to get to the port and from there take a a tour because we did that I think like seven or eight years ago and there is two uh, very nice rock formations at the port of Krabi and I'm not sure what the name is but I will find out I already asked the owner of the guest house where we left our stuff now uh, if he knows if anybody can bring us there he said just go to the port and let's see so that's what we're gonna do so see you guys in the port. So we're at the port in Krabi town now. And there's a couple of fishermen here with boats that are able to bring us here to the cave. So we asked him how much it is and he said, well, for the whole boat, it's 500 baht and it takes about one hour. And uh, yeah, we could negotiate, of course, but I'm just happy to also help these guys out. So I don't want to negotiate. We're going to pay our 500 baht. We're going to have a really nice tour. So we're going to go down the river here and there's two rocks. Krabi is very famous for the limestone rocks that they have over here. It's getting hot. It's about 11 o'clock. So we have two hours to spare before we uh, can move on towards the ferry. And this is our guy. So let's see if I can get in on stage. Okay. Yeah, so we did this tour, I think, six or seven years ago. This is one of the nice things that you can do here in uh, Krabi Town. So this here is the whole port of Krabi Town. Cap. That's one of the nice things that I always like about Thailand. Even, uh, you know, the plans didn't really work out perfectly. We have a little bit of time to spare, but then there's always something nice to do. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's monkeys in here as well, because mostly when you have these kind of mangrove forests, they're crawling with monkeys. Yeah, I think Krabi is one of the most beautiful provinces in, uh, in Thailand. I mean, obviously we haven't seen the whole country world, but we've been around a bit. And uh, yeah, from here you can go towards Pangna as well. Pangna Bay is beautiful. And as you can see, the mountains in front there. So this is what Krabi is all about. You have the limestone rocks. 
here they are on land. But for example, the, the famous Raleigh beach at Aonang, you have uh, where the rocks are bordering on the sea and then you have a few beautiful islands in front and you have Pangna. Yeah, this is one of those things that I love about Thailand. You know, be free and get out, be able to travel. Love it. Yeah, and I know there where you have these two rocks, there are caves. And I don't really remember if they were muddy from the swamp. Because I have my... My good shoes! <laughs> So I don't have my flip-flops on yet because we haven't reached the island. You know, when we're in uh, traveling in Thailand, the moment you get to an island, you put your flip-flops on. And the moment you're in town, I have my sneakers or my techies, how they say it in South Africa. By the way, just before we, um, we have to get back to a guest house from where there is a transport to the pier. And we had some food at the guest house, which was really delicious. So if you ever make this trip and you have uh, an hour to spare or two hours, then uh, go and try out Videla had the Pat Krapau chicken and I had the Kau Pat Kai, which is the fried rice egg. The simplest fried rice in the world for the simplest man in the world. <laughs> Yeah, the nature is stunning here, eh? Ah, okay, it seems all to be dry. So this uh, cave is uh, good for city slickers like us. Yeah, I'm gonna. We have four days here in PP and Krabi, so expect a few more of these kind of trips. This is the Krabi equivalent of me on a bicycle. Ah, we're gonna go through the mangrove forest first, I guess. Yeah, what I said, this is what makes Krabi famous. All this old formation of rocks, beautiful. So he was saying the whole tour is gonna be about an hour. So I'll just keep filming for you guys. This reminds me a little bit about the tour that we did in Kaulak. I don't know if you guys remembered where uh, we were checking out the snakes. It must be full of snakes here, but obviously we have no idea how to find them. I guess we're gonna make a turn here.
quite an art to turn a boat in here, I guess. I wouldn't be able to do it with a car. <laughs> So now we're heading back towards the cave. And this is going to be a long video, but I will just uh, keep it as long as it is. Okay. Kokuma okay. Kapna. Yeah, it's actually nice that we had the time to do this tour as well because I was not uh, calculating on this. But that's the thing, you always have to be flexible. And in one way I was hoping to get a quick uh, connection so that we could go to the island quickly. But this is actually better, right? We do a nice little tour. Oh. Oh, mind your head. Mind your head. <laughs> you survive now. <laughs> uh. Let me help clean up the boat. Monkey or no? Ah, yeah, there's a monkey there. It's good that you are here, otherwise, I would have missed the monkey. But maybe I was filming it, so I can always check it back. <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to see the raw nature. Something that we don't have that much of in Bangkok, of course. The jungle that we have is always concrete. Yes, cup, cup. To the cave now? Yeah. Very dangerous. <laughs> A lot, eh? Yeah. I saw a butterfly. There's a bit of tourism going on here. Good.
I think you have to jump from here, Mirala. <laughs> Welcome. So see you guys on the mainland. So this is the boat that we came here with. And I have to excuse myself a little bit because I'm normally when we go somewhere, I'm trying to prepare myself. And this uh, is 100% unprepared. The only thing that I did remember when we came here one time, there was some kind of prehistoric footprints or something. So. I'm not sure if that's only in my mind <laughs> or if that's for real. But the good thing is it's nice and fresh in here. If you wanna play space, yeah. yeah, you wanna put your hand somewhere? <laughs> you wanna film it? Let's let's <laughs> I will film it, yeah. You put your hand in there, I will film it. Yeah, no, anything to get uh, to get a viral video, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is beautiful, eh? If there will be lions here, you would take me to the lions. Of and course. Then film it. <laughs> like an episode of Gladiator. But the formations of limestone are really amazing here, eh? Mm -hmm. So now you have to tell me, are these uh, stalactites or stalagmites? Do you dare to go in? No. <laughs> I'm not a hero. God only knows I'm not a hero. But you can hear the bats. Ah, okay. Like a lot of them. Small bat cave. And it smells very nasty. Okay, yeah. So this is... Uh, this is where Batman lives. To the bat cave. Yeah, that's one of these things now because uh, there's not so many tourists. You have all these attractions for yourself. There's nobody here. So I guess here you can get into the cave. Yes, there was the prehistoric. Exactly, so I was right, I remember. I remember that we, I wrote an article about it in Global Travel Made, but the, the website is offline at the moment. So this is the archaeological site of the Krabi Giants. So it's so it shows the intertwining bones of gigantic human-like creatures and a giant serpent. Wow. Here there's the the bones that I was talking about. You think this is original or no? Could be a cast.
you know, I'm looking around and I'm not really following the camera, but I'm checking it out now and it's very, very, very nice bright green. So here you have the cave. Minella, you want to come up in the cave? I think it's... Uh, they have lights in here. So this is almost like a, a house tour that I do for Sukhumvit Homes. But then uh, a little bit different. This is Krabi Homes. Saudikap. Wow, this is beautiful. This is. Uh, I saw that it was light and lit up, but it's all natural light that comes through. Wow. You see, biking doesn't really help. I'm still out of breath from walking a few stairs like this. This is amazing, eh? So this is the thing with all these uh, limestone islands that they have here. They're, most of them, they're hollowed out on the inside. And if you go to Pangna Bay, you will, you will be able to go in there through the sea, which is absolutely incredible. So they made this into a kind of museum. So this is just, I think this is a replica, but they say there is many, many uh, paintings, prehistoric paintings that they found around this area where you have these rocks. So what do you have? Okay. <laughs> So these look like Japanese soldiers. So let me see what the story says. So during World War II, the Japanese force entered Krabi province. Many marine vessels and ships were anchored in the river in front of Krabi town and also at Ban Tadeng village. During this time, Japanese soldiers did various activities here, even though there were a lot of aquatic animals that were food for both the locals, people, and the Japanese soldiers. Some caves were residents for the Japanese soldiers, okay? 
So the Japanese soldiers used to live in these caves here. Interesting. Super happy that we uh, that we have this extra time here. I think if you come here at certain points of the day and the sun comes through these uh, holes here, it must be amazing. Around Huayin, there is a very famous cave where if you go like at two o'clock in the afternoon, you, uh, you will see the sun shine through these kind of holes. Okay, here is the giant skeleton. But I have to honestly say this is a little bit... I have to really read up on this. So this has a giant skeleton of a giant and a big snake. But if this was true, I'm sure the whole world would know about it. It's almost like a predator movie, you know? <laughs> I don't remember seeing this cave last time that we were around here. Hello. Cool, huh? Did you see the giant skeleton? No, this is the giant one. But I was just thinking, like, you think this is real? Yeah, because look at this. This is the size of the tooth that they found. Look, the primate bones, oversized human tooth. Crazy. It's a canine tooth. Number five is a number five oversized human, human tooth. tooth. Number six is a canine tooth. Seven her huh? front tooth. Okay. Wow. But like that's huge. To size. It's a knuckle. And wrapped in what? That's a snake. You want to go back? I will just keep filming in case we meet one of those giants here. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> then we go viral again. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear the You can hear the bat squeaking, and I can do a bat squeak as well. I can't do it. <laughs> Playing, around. Playing around with nature. And if they come in, just get hands in your curly hair. Well, then we still do that. <laughs> we have to pull it out. So we're going to give that guy a little bit of money. Even though he didn't explain us a lot. <laughs> but we have to help each other out. We have to share. <laughs> hmm? So we're at the end of the island again. So if I remember correctly, last time they showed us the other island as well. So maybe we have a little bit more of a tour ahead. 
So let's walk back to the boat. So we're back at the boat. So I guess we have one more stop and then we're heading back to the port and then we should be getting back to the guest house to make sure that we don't miss the ferry to Kopi Pi. Chop, <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yeah, so there's one more rock. So let's have a look there. Have we been there last time as well? Yep. hear it but I can feel it so here's the cave where we just went Here's the second pier. Yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah, this is just uh what is it like a 10 minute boat ride from uh, from the main Krabi town? Ah. Yeah, let's go back. So I hope you enjoyed this update. I mean, uh, in our break on our way to Kopi Pi, we uh, absolutely enjoyed it. I'm happy to see this place again. And it's very easy to do. If you're in Krabi, then uh, just go to the port of Krabi town and get one of these uh, ferrymen. And this will cost us 500 baht, which is about 15 US dollars or 12 euros. And it's a great, great way to spend an hour or two here in Krabi. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe, drop a comment and see you guys in my next uh, video.